Hello everyone, you're going to be making a digital portfolio. I'm putting everything you can possibly think of onto this website that you're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and do a preview of this. This is called Google Sites and this is an example of the kind of stuff that's going to go on the different pages. So you're going to have a home page where you can put your name here and my digital portfolio up here or vice versa the way I did. And the first page, this home page, is the first one that shows up when people click on your link. And you're just going to say what this website is for. You're going to create a new page called My Favorite Things because you now have images and video and things that you've created for this project. So you can create a page just like this one. I did this one as an extra little video. Maybe you've got other videos that you'll be making this year as well. After that, we'll do vector art because we'll be working with Illustrator, 3D modeling. You'll put everything in tech apps that you do on here, including your typing. And then we'll see about how we're going to do the core classes this year. And you're also going to create an about screen. Now notice what the header looks like here. You guys can make things like this very easily now with Photoshop or Photopia. And I expect you to replace these headers with things that you create. For the moment on my favorite things, if you took one of your pictures and you put it in the header, I could see where that wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go to sites.google.com, which is where you should go and create a new blank website. This is where you can put that it's your digital portfolio or if you'd like to have your name up front first. You have control over the fonts as long as it stays legible. So if I want a different font, I highlight it and change it to something else. You've got different font sizes that you can choose. And you can also put right here digital portfolio, sixth grade, something like that. So we're working with a blank one. So you're going to need to insert the different things that you're going to put on here. For this, we need a text box. And that's how you put in a text box. And you can write things in there. You can add another text box. So one of them can be with one font and one purpose. And then another one down here. You can insert images. You upload them from your computer. So we've got all sorts of images for this project that you've uh, created. However, we'll put these as individual ones, and I believe that we'll try and use something else for our My Favorite Things. Don't need too many images on the first one. So we're going to look at the pages. So this is how you build a page, and then this is how you control the different pages. So I'm going to click on Plus, ask for a new page, and call it My Favorite Things. So everything for this project is going to go on this page. So you've got home and my favorite things. So if you want to change the image on the header, you can go and grab one of the ones from your project to start with. Again, I expect you to replace these with things you make yourself. So let me pick a nice picture right there. And a lot of times you can change it up a little bit, but that'll work for the moment. And let's go back to insert here so that we can do things like add a text to explain what this project was like. So you would write in there about this project. You could insert images individually of your four titles that you made. But perhaps we'd like to do an image carousel where we can upload all the different images that we use. So that would be these nine right here. I shift clicked from the first one to the ninth one and it selected all of those. When you open them up, it'll upload it. it. Makes it very easy then to just put all your pictures on a little slide carousel and that's going to play through those different pictures. If you do them individually, you have captions that you've written and putting those under each picture would be pretty nice as well. And YouTube. So YouTube video is really kind of the culmination here. So maybe this should be on there first. How do you get the link to YouTube? Well, let's go and take a look at the one that I made. Now that you have a student made account, you're going to need that link in order to make this work. So go to 
your YouTube studio. This is also where you can check the audio library if you want to add that in there. So I'm going to look at my content. So even if it's unlisted, I'll be able to see it here. And I'm looking for this one right here. So you can click and get a shareable link and then go back to your digital portfolio and paste the link in there. It'll find your video and you'll be able to insert it. Now rearranging things on your website. So I would start with a little explanation and then boom, there's the video. People can watch it and then you can do like the individual pictures and your captions, maybe even put your essay on there. Okay, anything that you have that you're ready to show off. Let's take a quick preview of what we've created so far. And you can see this page, my favorite things. You've got the video. If you click on it, you'll be able to watch it. So this is what we need in order for everyone to be able to see each other's videos and other work. And you can click on home. We've got our basic home page. You'll need to fill that out. Again, this is just the preview. It has not yet been published. So let's close and exit the preview.